Hi you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to the kitchen. So today we're gonna to be talking about blending and juicing. So to start, we're gonna talk about why we think it is super important to incorporate greens every single day. Then we'll be diving into blending versus juicing, the benefits of each, when you should use each, if you should use one more than the other, and if you are a beginner, where is the best place to start as far as investing in a blender and or a juicer? After that, we'll be sharing our absolute favorite go-to green juice and lean green protein smoothie recipes. Before we dive into all of the juicy goodness, make sure that you check the description below for a free seven-day health transformation video course and check out our yearly Eat Move Rest Club membership. You can get 75% off for life when you join right now. These recipes are included in our meal planner and recipe app, which is part of the membership and so much more. So why are greens so important? Why do Dusty and I start every single day with something green, whether it's a juice or a smoothie? Greens are extremely alkalizing, detoxifying, very mineral rich, and of course, rich in vitamins as well. And you may not know, but they are also high in protein, iron, calcium, the list goes on and on. So cannot say enough good things about greens, but I don't know about you guys, it's really difficult to sit and munch on a head of kale. So that is why we prefer blending and juicing instead. It's a way to pack a powerful punch of nutrition into one tall glass, get it in, get your day started. Right here in front of me, we have our Vitamix blender that has been tried and true with us for almost our entire plant-based journey. And then we have a Nama juicer right here. So the interesting thing about this juicer model is that it is a juicer and blender in one. So I would recommend going this route if you don't have a high quality blender or juicer, get the two in one. But let's say you already have a Vitamix. This is kind of the king of blenders. I absolutely love our Vitamix. We use it multiple times a day. I would say if you already have a great blender, then maybe go with the Nama J2, which is strictly a juicer. So I have linked both of those below as well as discounts for you guys. The primary difference between blending and juicing is fiber. So with juicing, the pulp, AKA the fiber is extracted and omitted from the final product. And with blending, the fiber remains intact and it's, it is simply pulverized. So a juice is going to be a lot more concentrated, but it's also going to be very light and refreshing. A smoothie on the other hand, that has the fiber intact, that's pureed essentially, is going to be a lot more thick and substantial. It's going to keep you fuller longer. It won't digest quite as quickly, although still pretty quickly compared to solid foods. Juicing, on the other hand, will digest very rapidly. You may find yourself feeling hungry shortly after a juice, especially if it's a green juice, which is going to be very low in calories. But again, like I said, very, very concentrated in nutrition. The one time where we do not want fiber is with juicing when we are looking to heal, take a solid food vacation, give the digestive tract a break. Another thing to note is that juicing will only work with very water dense produce like cucumbers, celery, apples, oranges. You wouldn't wanna juice a banana or an avocado or dates. On the other hand, you can get a lot more into a smoothie and blend it up very smooth and enjoy it. You can blend avocados, bananas, dates even nuts and seeds. Blending is going to be more thick, more satisfying, even perhaps more energizing. I like to do a smoothie before I do a workout. That being said, both of these machines are very versatile. Technically, you could add all of your greens to your blender and pour them through a nut milk bag or a fine mesh strainer and get a fairly decent juice. However, it's going to probably be a little bit more oxidized than using a slow cold press juicer like the Nama. Same thing goes for the Nama, very versatile. You can make sorbets and nut milks with this, but it's not gonna be the same as blending a good nice cream with your Vitamix. And then looking at cost efficiency and how much waste is produced. The blender is much more cost efficient. You are not producing any waste in the form of pulp. And then with juicing, you're gonna have that pulp. You'll have to find something to do with it or discard it. 
and you're not getting as much bang for your buck, especially doing a green juice. It's going to be pretty low in calories, but again, very, very healing. So if I had to pick between owning a blender or a juicer first, I would definitely say the blender because we use it more often for more things and you just get more bang for your buck. That being said, it kind of also depends what your goals are. So if you are looking to cleanse, detoxify, heal, then juicing is very, very powerful. So ideally, in a perfect world, if you can swing it, do both. Do your juice first and then follow it with a smoothie. So when we juice, we primarily make green juices. Sometimes we'll do like an apple carrot juice for the kids or an orange juice, but we love green juice. If we're making something sweet, we prefer it to have the fiber intact as in a smoothie bowl, nice cream or smoothie. So for the juice recipe, we have an entire head of celery, three cucumbers, an entire head of kale, and a couple of other types of greens. Usually we have extra colored greens, so we'll throw some of those in there, but you can get creative. I always like to add a lemon in as well. You don't have to peel the skin, but I prefer to cut it and peel it off. I like the taste better. And then sweetness. If you want to add more sweetness, add more apples. Sometimes I'll also add in a good amount of ginger and or turmeric, probably both. Better way to do this if you don't love the taste is to do a ginger turmeric shot get it down and then chase it with your green juice. So let's get chopping. The nice thing about this is that we have a very large hopper. The Nama juicers make it very easy to batch juice and to kind of throw things in, close it and walk away. It's very hands off, very easy. And you don't really have to chop things very finely. They, it kind of chops itself in here. I will say the Nama never clogs either. So this thing is definitely a beast. And like I said, it's going to do the least amount of damage to your produce. It's gonna leave you with the most juice possible with the least amount of oxidation. So here is our pulp. The mark of an amazing juicer is the dryness of the pulp, and this is very dry. Wouldn't be the most tasty to add into muffins or baked goods with the green juice pulp. I would more so opt to do that with something like a carrot apple pulp. So we'll probably just add this to our compost like we always do. The ginger turmeric shot before the green juice. So it's very, very spicy, but it packs a powerful punch. It is super beneficial for its anti-inflammatory properties. Turmeric is very anti-cancer and ginger is phenomenal for digestion. So we love this combination for fighting inflammation. If you wanna kick it up a notch, you can even add a crack of black pepper, which helps to unlock the power of the curcumin within the turmeric. And one step further, you could add a dash of cayenne, swig this down, chase it with your light and refreshing green juice, and you will definitely feel the benefits almost instantaneously. Bottoms up. Whew. I did add a lemon in there as well. That helps a little bit. So we've got about 40 ounces. If you wanted more liquid to have more juice to go around, simply add more cucumber or more celery. And now it is green smoothie time. So smoothies have a very sweet spot in my heart, pun intended. It's kind of how we started our health and healing journey. So we broke out our blender that had been sitting in storage for two years since we had gotten married and finally decided to give it a go. So this is just to show you what is possible, how much nutrition you can pack into a blender and still make it taste epic. This is our favorite meal of the day. The kids love it. Every one of our friends and followers loves it. So you have to give it a try. So this was truly what revolutionized our health and it made us look forward to breakfast every single morning. We always recommend starting your day with a nutrient dense salad slash multivitamin in a glass. This one is tried and true, it tastes so good. Six out of seven days of the week, this is what we're doing. We tend to just juice on the weekends, maybe once or twice. So this blend will make two servings. I start with three cups of fresh filtered water. You can use whatever liquid you like. And then I add in our seeds. Typically I will do two tablespoons of chia, flax, hemp, or some combination. Chia and flax are my top picks because they have the highest amount of omega-3 fatty acids. Good for brain, heart, 
hair, skin, and nails. Chia and flax need to be blended or ground up in order to get their omega-3 benefit. Otherwise, if you consume them whole, you're only getting their fiber benefit. We prefer to blend them ourselves in our Vitamix because if you buy ground flax seed, it oxidizes very quickly, so chances are you are not getting that omega-3 benefit. Next up, Brazil nuts. So you could just eat one a day, but we like to blend them. Brazil nuts are an amazing source of selenium, which is great for hair, skin, and nails. It's great for your thyroid function, metabolism. So we typically say just one to two because that's all you need to get your daily dose. Next up, our deliciousness from the sea. So I love dulse flakes. They are a great source of iodine. Again, super important for thyroid function, metabolism. There are lots of other trace minerals as well. And I also love sea moss gel, kind of the same thing going on here. Tons and tons of trace minerals, 92 of the 102 minerals. So it tastes amazing by itself, by the spoonful. Also, I'm gonna do one teaspoon of dulse one tablespoon of sea moss gel. This one also has mango and pineapple puree in it, so it's got a nice taste on its own. I call it applesauce from the sea. Next up, cinnamon. We love Ceylon cinnamon. This is the best variety possible and it is phenomenal for metabolism. I typically alternate between these two. So we've got spirulina, which is an algae, and then we have barley grass juice powder, which comes from barley grass. So they are both very mineral rich, super, super high in protein and iron. If you're wanting a lighter green, go for this one. If you're wanting a darker green, go for this one. I'll add a tablespoon of either one of these. They're both so wonderful, so many benefits. I can't even begin to explain. So the last for our superfoods and powders, plant-based protein. So we love Sun Warrior. It's organic, it's raw, it tastes amazing. So I'm gonna add one and a half scoops of the Vanilla Warrior blend. Our other favorite to blend with is the Beauty Greens Collagen Booster. So rather than animal collagen from hooves, horns, and hides, it simply contains plants that help your body produce more of its own collagen. And now for our fresh slash frozen produce. So a lot of times we'll just buy a big bag of organic kale and toss it right in the freezer when we get home so it stays good for endless days for smoothies. So I'm just gonna grab a handful of our curly kale. We do use fresh a lot as well. I honestly prefer the dino kale, but this stuff is always great to have in stock in the freezer. And then one Granny Smith green apple chopped and cored. And finally, about one and a half cups of frozen pineapple, one and a half cups of frozen mango, and three to four frozen ripe speckled bananas. It's a really, really good one, isn't it? I don't know about you guys, but we have been preferring smoothie bowls as opposed to smoothies that you sip lately. We just like adding all the toppings and it's just fun to sit down as a family and enjoy. So if you want this to be more sippable, simply add maybe fresh pineapple instead of frozen, or you could add a little bit more liquid. Just a little disclaimer, we don't ever do green juice and green smoothies on the same day. Usually on the days that we're doing green juice, we'll follow it with a pink smoothie bowl. All right, you guys, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and join us here at the Eat Move Rest HQ. It helps us out so much. Leave us some love in the comments below, and also be sure to consider joining our yearly membership so you can gain access to our meal planner and recipe app where you can find these recipes and so many more, as well as our thriving community. We do weekly Zoom calls, monthly challenges, all kinds of fun stuff. Last but not least, comment below and let me know if you're more of a smoothie person or a juice person. Mm, it's so good. I can't believe everything that's in it. And it still tastes like this. Mm. A multivitamin in a glass, or in this case, a bowl. And I always say you could literally eat french fries for the rest of the day after you have this because you get all of your nutrition. Don't do that, but you could.